So I've made a couple of videos with Leonardo, these two right here, but I've never really shown you how to use it for t-shirt design. So in this video, I'm going to show you five examples or five topics that I would use in Leonardo and then make them into t-shirt designs. I'm going to show you the prompts and everything that I use. Let's go. Hey everyone, it's Juno with Detour Shirts. Thanks for joining me on this video. In this video, I'm gonna talk more about Leonardo AI. It's a really powerful app and it can do lots of different things, but you, if you've just started, you may not know exactly where to start because you can do everything, right? So in this video, I'm gonna show you five main topics that I think Leonardo is really strong in. I'm gonna show you how to get those examples of them on Leonardo and I'm gonna show you the prompts that I use to generate uh, some of those topics and then I'm going to bring it into Affinity Designer those designs well I'm going to vectorize them first bring them into Affinity Designer and show you how I made five different t-shirts with those five different topics so it's a lot to see in this video uh, it's gonna, not going to be totally step by step but you, I think you'll be able to follow along so let's go to Leonardo right now and I'll show you the five different topics so here we are on Leonardo I, I'm on app.leonardo.ai if you haven't logged into this yet Watch my first video and I'll show you, it shows you how to log in uh, and it does a full tutorial of this. But when you get on here, you may see all these designs here and you may think, how can I use these on t-shirts, right? Most of them are um, people, right? It does a really good job of people and you can't really like put this on a t-shirt, right? So, or, or this on a t-shirt, maybe this one because it's more anime, but uh, it's gonna be really hard to find something um, when you get on here because you're just overwhelmed with all these nice pictures but you like I can't use that on a t-shirt this this is more people and it's designed to be a gaming app so of course they it does really well with people and stuff but I'm gonna show you other topics that you can use um, on here you can scroll through them and kind of see um, some of the strong things that they do really well I'm gonna put them all together for you I'm gonna give you five of, there's more than five but I think these are the top five for me uh, on Leonardo. So so topic number one is animals. Check out all these animals right here. So um, you can see when I scroll through this, um, there's lots of animals, right? Look at that one right there. This one really cute right there. If you wanna just narrow it down to animals, you can do that. So I'll show you right here. You can search the gallery by trending new top. And then this also does game assets, which we don't need, right? So we're gonna do animals. And this way you can see like all the different types of animals, different styles, like th these would be really cool on a t-shirt, right? Um, you wanna kinda do ones that look more like stickers so you could, or white backgrounds, right? Like that one could do well on a t-shirt. And you can narrow it down too. So if you wanna do like a certain animal, let's just do cat. Um, there's some cats there. I think um, some of these are cat-like people, so maybe the, the cats, maybe dog's a better one. Let's see. Uh, dog. All right, so we got, like, that could be really, this would be a really cool t-shirt, right? Cool t-shirt, the rabbits and things like that. So think of an animal that you like. Uh, think of an animal that people would love on a t-shirt. Um, the top animals usually are dog, cat, llama, dragon. So usually if there's a big fan base around that animal, then those are the good animals to use. But dogs and cats definitely uh, save birds, of course, and, and so on. So that's my number one topic is animals. The Leonardo does animals really, really well. You also can see like they do some really um, cartoony looking one, different styles too. So I think these would do really well on t-shirts. So topic number two for me is scenery. So Leonardo does very well on scenery. Of course, you can see some of these in the background right here. These are really nice. And um, these, right? Scenery. So I'm gonna show you some um, ways to find scenery on here. You can do palm trees. And look at some of these scenery. Like that's really cool. Beach scene, right? This, I wouldn't use cars in mine, but you can see some really fun ones. This beach one right here. Uh, this one right there, right? And of course you don't have to do beach, you could do mountains too, so outdoor t-shirts. Um, let's do mountains. Look at some of these cool stuff. That, that would be a cool t-shirt, right? This would be a cool outdoor t-shirt, right? And mountains. 
really neat. So think of different sceneries, I think for outdoors, uh, for the beach scene, of course, cityscapes, I didn't think of that, um, but, but you can do cityscape. Really cool, some fun stuff over here too. Um, right, so just have fun with that, look it up. Um, I would, I would actually go in here and type out something and see if they have something similar and then you can use some of their prompts, right? So people have prompts on here. Um, let's do mountain again, just so you can see right there, right? All that prompts. If you come in here, you can do a remix and it'll copy the prompts and make something similar. It'll be different than this, it'll be yours, um, but this, this will make a cool t-shirt, right? So uh, number two topic, of course, they do really well is scenery. The third topic I think they're really strong in is plants. So plants including flowers and mushrooms and all those things. So let me show you, uh, I will come in here again on the gallery and let's just do mushrooms, for example. Check out these. These would be really cool. Cottage core is really strong right now on, on t-shirt designs and you can see some really cool things like with books and things, look at that. Those are, those, these could make some really cool ones. Uh, let's do cactus, uh, you know, succulents. Um, they do really well on t-shirts too. The cactus, yep, check it out. Some fun ones too. Uh, and of course with the scenery, this would make a great one for Arizona or something, right? Um, and some nice watercolor, like I love the different styles too. Um, what else, flowers? They do, they do flowers really well. You know, mixed with other things, of course, too. Like with the flower and the dog, so look at that. And different styles, I love the different styles too. Just really nice. All right, so that's number three. Plants, including flowers, mushrooms, cactus, all, all those kinds of things, I think will do really well on t-shirts. So the fourth topic that I think Leonardo is really strong in is food. Check out all these food designs here. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to find some food. Uh, you can, same thing in the gallery, you can do uh, food here. This is trending. I forgot to show you, you can show new as well. So anybody that's done any food recently, I'll do search. New's gonna take a little while just cause there's a lot of new. So you can see uh, food trucks and food stuff. I would do ones that are like cut out and have a white background. Those are gonna be a lot easier. Um, burgers, of course, do really well. And um, top. So top's usually some really nice stuff, <laughs> some fun stuff too. Right, so you can type for a specific food too. So if you want like pizza or tacos or ice cream, let me do. Um, if you don't see anything, maybe there's no top ice cream, but there's gonna be new ice cream. There you go. So I would do something, you know, with a white background. Maybe not super realistic, but like this, that could be cool. Like maybe with a character, right? And you can see all these foods are already stickers. So you could do stickers of food, but we're doing t-shirts, but you could cut these out and put them on t-shirts, right? Um, that would be great on a t-shirt as well. Okay, I think you get the idea. So foods, there's a lot of top food t-shirts out there, pizza, taco, ice cream, barbecue, uh, all those kinds of things. So have fun with food for your t-shirts. So the fifth topic I think Leonardo's really good is skulls. So you may not have thought of skulls, but they do faces really well and, and people really well. So skulls, if you scroll down here on trending, you're gonna see, you're gonna see some skulls here. Let's see, um, there. See, it's always in the top. It's really cool. That could make a really cool t-shirt design. I'm gonna show you how to find more. Of course, you just come in here and type in skull and you can see all of these like the American flag on a skull like feathers on a skull there's some really cool skull ones here and of course you can use their uh, prompts um, just some cool Dia de los Muertos skulls just skulls with lots of different things so they do Leonardo does skulls surprisingly well well not surprisingly because they do faces and and people so of course skulls would do really well so so next step is I'm gonna take these five different topics and generate my own, and I'll show you how to use those on t-shirts. I'm gonna take them from here, from concept 
So it's not just um, an idea. I'm going to show you exactly from what I create to a t-shirt. All right, so I'm back here. So I did a few prompts here. You can see these, this is my personal feed and I did one with scenery. So here's mountains, there's my prompt. I did a couple with uh, skulls here, here's my prompt. Uh, I did ice cream, which is a food. So here's my prompt here. I did some succulents. You can see very simple prompts that I'm using. Um, let's see, I did this Rottweiler. Uh, this one, I kind of copied the prompt from somebody else, but it turned out really good. So I'm gonna take that one. And this, no, I have a skull. So what did I missing? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's all of them. You can see I've done a bunch of other sceneries like that one turned out really well and so on. So this is my personal feed. Um, of course, I could have used this one, which is a sticker or a dragon or whatever, but uh, I'm just going to use those and I'll show you how to take these and put them on t-shirts in Affinity Designer. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm not going to show you here, but I'm going to save these, go in here, click on them, download, right? and then bring them into vectorize AI. I'm gonna change that into a vector so that I have the vector inside of Affinity Designer and then I'm gonna add text around it to make it a t-shirt. All right, I'm here on in Affinity Designer and let me show you the designs I came up with. So here's that Rottweiler or that dog. Uh, you can see I just cut them out. It's totally vector. If I come in here and click on it, if I scroll in, you can see it's a vector um, design even though uh, when I scroll back out, it looks pretty realistic, right? So um, I think that will turn out really well. Nice, nice design there. I cut them out. Uh, it was had a white background and I've just put a circle behind it and I did a mask underneath. So you can see it's a square right here. And all I have is text, right? Text going uh, around like on a path. And I'm just using this, um, this font here is Brawls typeface rough just using the both both of them there. And I think it turned out really well. And that could be a nice t-shirt for somebody who's a, a dog dad. And I could change this to be like mom too, right? Or, right? So that, that could be for a dog mom or I could change out the text either way. Um, but I think this will do really well uh, and looks nice on a t-shirt. And I, I use black as my background, but it doesn't have to be a black t-shirt. It could be, you know, whatever color t-shirt I think still would work really well. So the next shirt I did was a scenery t-shirt. Um, you can see here I just took some text, outlined it a little bit, um, did some of that on, on a text, the text on a path here, you can see, and just kind of outlined it and played with the colors. So this, I think this one turned out really well. Again, this could be on a black t-shirt or a white t-shirt or whatever. I think that would do really well on a white t-shirt too, right? But if you wanted it on a black t-shirt, I think uh, it could do really well. Just got to watch out for the trees. Sometimes the trees get lost in the in the dark ones. So um, yeah, I think this would be really good for an outdoor t-shirt. Again, we could we could have used a lot of other scenery stuff. We saw some for like with palm trees or other things. Uh, those could be you know beach t-shirts or whatever. So uh, I think this one turned out really well. Here's one that just has the potted plants, and so I put text around it like this. And again, these are just all, um, I grouped this one, but you can see I can move it now because I grouped it individually. Um, they're just all individual because I grouped it that way when it came in. So yeah, I think this one turned out really well. And the nice thing about this in Leonardo, now you have the graphics. I would save the graphics on the side and let, maybe you want to line them up, you know, like this in a row and then put text around it. You can because now you have it, you can use it for different things. So. I think it's pretty cool. All right, uh, next one here, kind of a 4th of July theme. I had red, white, and blue ice cream, and all I did was just put America and use the same colors here. I think this could do really well on a t-shirt, and it's nice and fun, and it has the right colors, and it looks great on white, but of course I knocked everything out, so it could be on different colors as well, right? So you can see that, or maybe on a blue t-shirt. It would work really well too. And last one, I think this one's my favorite. It just has so much character. And this is a pirate. I just have pirate life for me. This is just text on a path again, kind of arcing it because of the hat. And you can see this one is Burton Slab, I'm using. And I think this font is Aerial Kids. Oh, I didn't tell you all the fonts here. So let's see, Aerial Kids, same one. Uh, this one is the Forgen, rough one. 
this one, of course, veneer, if you've been following me, and this is thirsty rough. So those are all the fonts that I used. And you can see just doing it all in Affinity Designer because this now is vectors. I can come in here because it's vectors. If I wanted to color this, maybe I wanted the skull uh, lighter, you know, instead of that gray, maybe I want it really white to stand out. You can see I can come in here because it's vector and just change the colors and make that white. And I could make the teeth, I could make the teeth yellow if I wanted to, right? Because it's a vector. So let's say I wanted like gold teeth or something. That would be really cool, right? So have fun with this. When you convert it to a vector and bring it into Affinity Designer, you can play around with it, erase things, color things, like all of these, even though I could change that color, right? Pretty cool. So have fun with it. Uh, make your own t-shirts. I think uh, you can have a lot of designs with Leonardo. You get, a, I think, 150 credits each day. So I made these five in, in one night, right? And I could have done more, but this took me about an hour to do to do five of these. So uh, I think it, Leonardo can be really powerful, not only for patterns, but also for t-shirts. So there you go. Hopefully this video is really helpful. I wanted to make sure that you knew how to use Leonardo. I think the first uh, video that I made kind of showed how to use it, but not actually how to take those and make it into t-shirts. I showed you how to do the patterns in the second video, but it was all kind of high concept. So I wanted to make sure that you can see there's a lots of topics that you can use on Leonardo and then transfer those into t-shirt designs. Um, and you can see you can use Affinity Designer or any graphics program, really, you can just bring it in. I would use Affinity Designer, um, but if you have Illustrator or any uh, vector apps, you could use that to change the color. But if you use Photo P, you could also erase things in Photoshop. Of course, you could do different things there as well. So have fun with this. Uh, I think it can be really powerful. So if you haven't seen the first video, click on this one right here. It's a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use Leonardo AI, how to get started, and the prompts and everything. Thanks again for watching. And as always, guys, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one.